Time for rock news on 1011 WJRR, Orlando's rock station. Let's check in with Lynch and Taco and see which rockers are making the headlines for all the right and wrong reasons. 1011 WJRR. Rock news is brought to you by JRR's Tuesday Ticket Takeover. That happening all day today on the JRR Instagram at 1011 WJRR. Tickets for nothing more. Aha, uh-huh, now you're interested at 1011 WJRR on Instagram. Click on the post. You might be the winner. And I say winner. This is also a meet and greet. Mm-hmm. Not just mm-hmm. tickets to the show. There you go. Get by there sometime today. There's these two idiots who are uh, in the post instructing you what to do. Mm-hmm. You might be aware who they are. Real jerkos. Yeah. All right, uh, Lincoln Park's return with uh, new vocalist Emily Armstrong uh, has not gone without controversy. Uh, May I guess? Take a wild guess. Chester's ex. Check Chester Bennington's son, Jamie Bennington, oh, really? is blasting Mike Shinoda of, quote, quietly erasing his father's life and legacy in real time by uh, choosing Emily. From Dead Sarah. He said via Instagram, You hired your friend of many years, Emily Armstrong, to replace Chester, knowing Emily's history in the church, that would be the Church of Scientology, and her history as an ally to Danny Masterson, that would be convicted rapist, rapist. Masterson. Uh, he didn't hold back. He accused Shinoda of ignore, ignoring the impact this decision might have on the band's fan base, particularly those affected by sexual violence. Quote, you quietly erased my father's life and legacy in real time during International Suicide Prevention Month and refused to acknowledge the impact of hiring someone like Emily without so much as clarify, a clarifying statement on the variety of victims that make up your core fan base. I didn't even think about it. Suicide Prevention Month. He continued on. You betrayed the trust loaned to you by decades of fans and supporting human beings, including myself. We trusted you to be bigger and a better person, to be the change, because you promised us that was your intention. Now you're just senile and tone deaf. How old is this kid? Because he sounds... Kid, I, I think he's uh, uh, he's a grown man now. He sounds very mature. He's a grown man. And well put for to be yeah. Chester's kid. Yeah. Because Chester, I mean, wasn't that old. Eh, quite interesting. Wow. And all those points, now that he now that he puts that out on in, Insta, I didn't know a lot of that. That said, Lincoln Park's upcoming shows in Los Angeles and New York quickly sold out, out after going on sale. Uh, the first one is tomorrow at the Kia Forum in L.A. That sold out in less than an hour. Then there's the September 16th show at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, sold out in minutes. And then additional shows uh, internationally. Noel Gallagher. Of Oasis is selling off the Oasis song catalog. It's cashing out after uh, the much hyped Oasis reunion was announced last month. Gallagher is planning to sell off the Oasis catalog for over two hundred million, uh, two hundred sixty-two million dollars. The fifty-seven-year-old uh, Gallagher said he wants to set up his family for life and would rather sell sell than leave his music to his kids. Joking that he they would probably swap it out for a PlayStation game. <laughs> There were reports that Noel and his brother Liam were offered a payday of $60 million to launch the uh, reunion tour next year. Um, so did Liam get in his money? Because all I heard was Noel is selling his portion okay. of the Oasis Publishing. <laughs> also, also uh, to go along with the reunion and tour, they have uh, recorded a new album. There was a rumor about that. Uh, Liam Gallagher was asked if the rumors were true about a new album being in the works. Liam replied, yep, it's already finished. So in your face. Patty Scalfa, Bruce Springsteen's wife of 33 years and bandmate for over 40, has revealed that she's had a rare form of blood cancer known as multiple myeloma since 2018. This news came out during the premiere showing of the film Road Diary. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band at the Toronto International Film Festival. Uh, so this had been kept quiet by the family until uh, this past weekend. Wish her well in her ongoing battle. Yeah. Uh, you know Motley Crue has uh, some, well, new music out. Uh, they're dropping out a, a three-song EP called Cancelled. That will be released on October 4th. 
uh, Dogs of War, which you've been hearing here on JRR. The title track canceled, as well as the uh, Beastie Boys cover of Fight for Your Right. Uh, CD, red, black, splatter, 12-inch, 45 uh, vinyl, and digitally. And then additional crew news, hearkening back to their humble beginnings on the Sunset Strip, a Sunset Strip tour of shows, October 7th, 9th, and 11th. They'll play the famed Troubadour, the Roxy, and Whiskey A Go Go. Got it. Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun is the music for the trailer and TV spot for the Season 2 premiere of the FX series The Old Man, which I can't wait for. I think uh, Thursday is uh, when that gets rolling again on Season 2. Who's in The Old Man? Jeff Bridges. Okay. It's a CIA, old CIA spy, kind of still doing CIA Mm spy-related stuff. Van Morrison and former Northern Ireland Minister of Health Robin Swan have settled the slander suits they filed against each other dating back to the COVID era. Uh, Van Morrison was very outspoken about the uh, the Minister of Health there at the time in Northern Ireland uh, shutting down live performances because of COVID. And uh, they went back and forth and said some pretty, uh, well nasty things about each other i guess they have decided to settle billy corgan of the smashing pumpkins honored cheap trick guitarist rick nielsen on his social media on sunday posting a backstage photo of the two of them and calling nielsen his hero he said that he wouldn't be in a band today if it wasn't for the inspiration that cheap trick gave him circa 1977 when i was just 10 years old listening to them on the radio in chicago and finally, uh, Michael Anthony from Van Halen says that he never expected that he'd be the last original Van Halen member still out playing on the road. He was talking in a recent interview that before Eddie Van Halen's death in 2020, he always thought that it would have been either him and Alex or whatever that would have carried on after everybody was gone or everybody broke up or everybody stopped getting along. He goes, and here I am. I, I'm the guy that... You know, Alex has sold off all his equipment and doesn't really seem to have any interest in playing anymore. David Lee Roth, he was retired from touring, and here's Michael out with Sammy Hagar, and the guy's doing their thing, and he said he found that to be a bit of a surprise. That is interesting. Anyway, that's that's your rock news for this morning. That Lincoln Park stuff, woo-wee. That's deep. That cuts very deep, right? Like 1011 WJRR, Orlando's rock station.